Hi there, Matiz here. Today I'll show you how easy it is to upgrade EK's AM4 CPU water blocks to be compatible with the AM5 platform. So if you have an EK AM4 water block and you want to install it onto the AM5 socket motherboard, here's how you can do it. The CPU water blocks we will cover in this show include the original EK Quantum Velocity, wow, the EK Quantum Velocity AMD Ryzen Edition, EK Quantum Magnitude AM4, and the latest and greatest EK Quantum Velocity 2 AM4. All the products for this upgrade are available through the EK web shop and are pretty budget friendly, so make sure you check them out. The upgrading process is extremely easy and it's not rocket science. Anyone can do it. Literally anyone, even a child. Doesn't mean a child should, but you know what I mean. It, it, it could do it. Anyway, we should quickly mention that this video won't be covering our AIO products as they are already AM5 compatible straight out of the box. So if you're looking for an AIO water cooling solution for your AM5 motherboard, EK's got you covered. And don't forget to contact our outstanding customer support whenever you need assistance with our products. They're always happy to help. All right, let's get down to it. We're starting with the EK Quantum Velocity water block. And just for fun, we took the Honor version. But this works for all Velocity AM4 water blocks. This water block can very quickly and easily be installed onto the AM5 motherboard. The only thing you need to get is a set of EK Quantum Velocity UNC standoffs for AM5. You can find them on my table or in our web shop at a symbolic price. Once you have these UNC standoffs, simply install them onto your AM5 motherboard backplate. Apply the paste and then install the water block itself. And don't forget the washers. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take away the old standoffs because we don't need them anymore. And the only thing that's left to do is place the washers on top of the AM5 standoffs and screw them in. Now we need to repeat this process exactly three more times. Okay, so now that we've installed the new washers, make sure your water block is clean. Apply some thermal paste, just a tiny bit. Put on our water block. Okay, now let's use all four springs, attach the thumb nuts, and there we go. And voila, your Quantum Velocity CPU water block is perfectly compatible with the AM5 motherboard. And it's ready to take the heat your CPU throws at it. And it does so with ease. Now moving on to the completely different EK Quantum Velocity AMD Ryzen Edition. This water block can easily be AM5 compatible as well. And unlike the previous one, <laughs> I'm kidding, we're gonna do exactly like the previous one. We're gonna put away the mounting screws, we're gonna use the new UNC standoffs, and we're gonna use the four washers. So put the washer underneath, you know, then drop it. We're gonna place the washer on top of the standoff screw and screw it into the motherboard. Now, once again, let's use some thermal paste, place the block on top, insert the springs and tighten it down. And voila, the block is safely installed on the AM5 motherboard. You can pick up these screws in our web shop for a symbolic price. Now let's move on to the EK Quantum Magnitude AM4. You need to get the EK Quantum Magnitude UNC standoffs AM5 from our web shop. They're once again available at a symbolic price. Now that you've picked the new standoffs from our web shop, it's time to install them onto your AM5 motherboard's backplate. Apply the paste and then mount the water block itself. The mounting screws are available in different colors. We're using the nickel ones just for the sake of comparison. We're gonna set the old ones aside and place the new ones into the motherboard. Or rather the AM5 backplate. Now, unlike with previous blocks, we do not need to use the washers here. Actually, you must not use the washers here because 
you'll end up with an inadequate contact. Now before we put on the water block, we're gonna once again put some thermal paste. Now let's insert the springs. Tighten this down in a cross pattern. And voila, the block is installed on the AM5 motherboard. Before we move on to the upgrading process of the EK Quantum Velocity 2 AM4, we must warn you that this is a risky maneuver. So should you decide to perform this upgrade, be aware that you are doing it at your own risk. If the procedure is not followed correctly, you may permanently damage your motherboard by bending some of the pins inside the CPU socket. We would also like to advise you to consider getting one of the AM5 ready socket specific water blocks instead. The EK Quantum Velocity AM5 water blocks don't require this risky upgrade step, while they also provide slightly better performance. All the more reason to opt out for one of these babies. Anyway, for those of you who still wish to upgrade their Quantum Velocity 2 AM4 water blocks and make them AM5 compatible, here's how you should do it. First, you need to get the EK Quantum Velocity 2 AM5 backplate available through the web shop. This is what's included in the package and it's all you need. The CPU socket cover must be installed on the socket loading mechanism. Use duct tape to secure loading mechanisms in place when the socket screws are removed. Now we need to use the Torx key that came with the backplate to remove the four screws around the socket. We need to remove these four screws. So we've got four loose ILM screws. We're gonna pull off the backplate while pressing down on the socket cover. Okay. Now what we're gonna do next is install the new backplate. As you can see, the exact mount fits exactly like it's in the name. We're pressing on the back plate and we're gonna screw these four ILM screws back inside. Make sure to tighten them in a cross pattern. Each one a little by little. Don't need to apply a ton of force, just just enough so it holds. And there we go, now we can safely remove the duct tape or, well, any kind of tape you're comfortable using. And now we can finally install the CPU. As you can see, all the pins are perfectly fine because the socket didn't move. And there we go. Now all that's left to do is remove the old AM4 backplate. But if your block was installed in your system previously, the backplate is already removed, so you don't need to do this step. Don't forget to apply the thermal paste. And now you can just place it And there we go. The block has successfully been upgraded to the AM5 platform. And that's it for today, folks. I hope we managed to upgrade your knowledge on how to upgrade your AM4 socket CPU water block to fit the AM5 motherboards. If you're interested in more similar content, feel free to browse our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Don't forget to visit our web shop to find just the right gear for your next liquid-cooled PC build or any further upgrades you plan to do. See you next time. Stay cool.